Just when I thought Major League Baseball couldn't be any dumber, they go and one-up themselves. Hey guys, it's Josh the 90 Know It All, and I am coming to you today to talk about some news that just uh, dropped recently, like in the last 30 minutes uh, before I made this video. But before we get into that, guys, jump down, click like, uh, leave a comment below with your thoughts on the video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. And uh, guys, let's just jump right in this because, like I said, you know, Major League Baseball, they've been stupid all offseason. It's one mistake after another get into spring training without them making another stupid idiotic comment response or move or decision and I was wrong because Major League Baseball once again they're doing their thing and I'm telling you guys right now the next video I make is going to be probably the why I'm quit being a fan of Major League Baseball uh, I've already I've thought about that one for a while but you know what let, let's just get into this so I'm sure if you guys follow Major League Baseball and Minor League Baseball, you know that not too long ago, uh, it, it got out that 42 teams in Minor League Baseball were going to be eliminated after this season. Uh, it was a idea proposed by a former GM of the Houston Astros. Uh, I'll leave that right there. And once again, it was designed to uh, just cut 42 teams at the end of the season, just kind of completely cut them off, make them uh, be their own independent thing. And there was, the problem with this is, this was Major League Baseball deciding this before they'd ever even talked with Minor League Baseball, even told these teams. These teams literally found out because a newspaper printed the article because they had a source talking about this. So that's really the big issue here is that Major League Baseball without even talking to minor league baseball was putting this in the process and they can say all they want about how they weren't really, you know, prepared to go forward with it. They were just talking about it, working up the logistics. They were moving forward with it. Let's be honest. They, they were clear and, and moving forward and getting ready to cut teams. And, you know, one of the excuses they have is, well, by cutting teams, we can then raise uh, minor league baseball salaries. And that's BS. Those Major League Baseball could do that right now. Right now, they could raise the salaries of their entire minor league system, and it would barely put a dent in their profits and their revenue. Barely put a dent. I mean, I'm serious. It would it would be nothing for them. They could do it, but they refuse to do it. And I am a strong, strong advocate that minor league baseball players need better pay, because not only do they not make you know a a decent wage, they don't even make minimum wage. These guys literally walk home if they're lucky with a hundred dollars a month, you know, because they've got to pay clubhouse fees, agent fees. They've got to do all this different stuff. They've got to. Some of these guys are living five guys to an apartment, and just and guys are sleeping on the ground, eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches because they literally cannot afford to do anything else. They can't do anything else, and it, and it wrecks guys for years. Even guys who have college degrees and have gone to college. It can wreck them financially because they can't make money. It's not like they can go get a job during the season and then make it over to the games. They're there full time. You know, I was uh, interning with the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes, man, like 10 years ago. And these guys, they, they're expected to be in there at 11, 12 o'clock. Uh, they'd go out and, and do fielding practice, hitting practice, running. They'd do their workouts go back in, get right, and then they go play the game. I mean, it was a full-time eight-hour, ten-hour day, days, and it was nonstop through the summer. They didn't really have days off. Uh, they're just It wasn't built in because it's a short season, and, and Major League Baseball and Minor League Baseball, both, they're not designed for lots of days off. You can play a lot of days in a row, and those are long days, long nights. You can't go do anything else. And these minor league guys are literally getting paid pennies and expected to live off that, and they can't. They just can't. So I'm a strong advocate that minor league baseball players need to have a little bit better pay. I'm, I'm not saying give them a million dollars, not even saying give them a hundred thousand dollars, but to not pay them at all during spring training. That's something people don't realize. 
baseball players, when they're at spring training, don't get paid a dime. That is, they're expected to go there, expected to play, work out, do their job without pay. The guys who go in the fall and do fall instructs and stuff like that, they don't get paid. You only get paid when you are playing in a regular season, and that's it. So these guys are getting just ripped off and gypped, and they're doing a job. They are entertainers. Entertainers get paid because the people they work for are making money. And so this just drives me nuts. It drives me nuts that that's the excuse Major League Baseball is using. Uh, they're also using the excuse poor facilities. Now, yes, some minor league complexes are not the best. That's just the truth. But here's something I, I thought about and realized as I was doing some of my research and talking with some of the teams. One of the teams they're proposing cutting is in the middle of like a $4.5 million refurbishment of their stadium and their facilities. That's a lot of money put into the stadium to make it not just adequate, but above adequate. And they're one of the teams that are going to be cut. A team that's been there for, for decades and decades. And Major League Baseball... You know, Rob Manfred was so mad that someone leaked this out. But I'm, I'm cheering that person on because whoever leaked it, man, they saw this was a stupid idea and they want to get it out there and stop it. Now, I know there are some people who, you know, are, are kind of in favor of this. And I understand it from a business standpoint. I, I have a master's in business, so I understand the business side of things. But at the same time, to plan on cutting teams at the end of this season at the end of this season cutting them off and saying you're gone you're done that one that doesn't give them time to prep and prepare for having a season next year you're literally cutting jobs from hundreds maybe even thousands of people because you're talking about you know all the summer staff that works concessions tickets uh, works actually for the team there's a lot of jobs that would be cut a lot of small communities that are going to be hurting because of this so today, Congress put out a, a statement uh, trying to help protect all the minor league teams, and Major League Baseball had a response, and here's where the stupidity comes into play. So guys, let me read this response to you. Major League Baseball is confident that we can modernize our minor league system, improving player, player conditions for our players, and protect baseball and communities across America. B.S. However... Doing so is best achieved with minor, with minor league baseball's constructive participation and recognition that they need to be a part of the solution. Okay, yes, minor league baseball needs to be a part of the solution, but don't give me this crap that they need to be a part of it when you guys weren't even going to talk with them and you already had plans to cut teams. So, moving on. So far, their approach has been neither constructive nor solution-oriented. When you put someone's back against the wall, surprise, surprise, they fight back. The most constructive role Congress can play to achieve these goals is to encourage minor league baseball to return to the bargaining table so we can work together to address the real issues impacting minor league players and communities all across the country. And major league baseball doesn't care about communities and they don't really care about their players. They don't. The minor leaguers, they don't care about. They just don't. And this drives me, just drives me nuts because... This isn't just about Major League Baseball. This is about baseball across the country. You're talking about wiping out baseball from communities, entire regions of the country. I mean, the, the Pioneer League over in Montana and Utah in that area, you're talking about wiping out minor league baseball across that entire region. And, and granted, yes, not a lot of highly populated areas, but... Every fan you lose is a fan that will pull another fan with them and pull them away to another sport or just not follow sports at all. Major League Baseball is undercutting themselves by doing this. And that drives me nuts. And the bottom line is they're killing the game. And this makes me mad. And I, I love baseball. I love Little League. I love high school ball. I love college ball. I, I, I love minor league ball. But I am hating Major League Baseball right now. You have this situation. You have the Astros situation. You just have... There is no control over the game right now in Major League Baseball. They are just... They've lost it. They've lost it. And they've lost me as a fan. And I'll be honest. 
you know, don't be surprised if in the next two or three days I have a video come out uh, that says why I quit being a fan of Major League Baseball. Uh, because it's been something that I've been thinking about for a long time. And it's because of the stupidity of the front office. And once again, I, I know I'm not on the inside. So I don't know what all is going on. I don't know all the details. But I'm not just a common fan. I have a knowledge of what it's like working in minor league baseball. I, I've interned for multiple years with teams. I've interacted with teams across all different levels and, 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 and seen what they do and how they do it and the impact they have on communities. You know, I, I'm an educated person. I have a master's degree in business. I understand business. I understand finances and all that stuff. And I get it. You gotta be smart financially to make a business successful, but Major League Baseball is a billion dollar industry. Billions of dollars of revenue last year alone. One year, they're billion dollar industry. So you can't tell me that not being able to pay salaries is because of the lack of revenue. There's more than enough revenue to pay every single minor leaguer a decent salary to help them survive throughout the year. I'm talking like $25,000. That's not a huge amount of money. 25000 for one year, for the rookie league guys, for the single A guys, you know, let's say you make double A, you're at 35,000 and triple A, you're at 45,000. Those are not outrageous numbers, you know, especially for the amount of money and those players and their talent and what they mean for systems, guys who are moving up to the major league level. It's not that much money. I mean, in honesty, once again, billion dollar in industry can't even afford or won't choose to pay players even 25000 a year. I mean, these guys literally make like $6,000, $8,000 maybe in a year for the lower levels. And that's it for the whole year. And they once again, they got to pay clubhouse fees. got to pay for the clubhouse attended. They got to pay this and they got to pay that. Major League Baseball is nickel and diming these guys. And, you're, and they're losing talented guys, guys who have the potential to be major league baseball players. And they're just wiping them out because they can't afford to put food on their table. They can't afford to do the little things like, you know, eat or put gas in their car or pay for an apartment to live in, you know, that's clean. It just, it drives me nuts. Major League Baseball, you're killing yourself. You're killing yourself. And, you know, look at the, the attendance and the attendance shows it. Numbers are down except for the big cities, the big winning teams. You know, obviously the Dodgers are going to have big numbers and, you know, that's not going to change. But all these other teams, their attendance is down. And Major League Baseball, you need to take care of yourself first. Take care of the stadiums that are crap right now. I mean, Oakland's stadium is not great. Tampa Bay's is a joke. And there's more of that across the nation. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what they're thinking, but I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad that minor league baseball is has become the target of major league baseball so they could save a few pennies here and there. I mean, that's that's essentially what it is. When you're a billion dollar in industry paying $4 million for, for guys in a system to pay, have decent income so they can keep playing the game. That way the best players are in your system. It just drives me nuts. And I don't know. I, mean, I don't even know what else to say. I don't even know what to think because this just drives me nuts that Major League Baseball planned all this, refused to talk with Minor League Baseball, and now they're blaming Minor League Baseball. Get your act together, Major League Baseball, because in five years, if you don't have your act together, don't have things figured out at least somewhat, there's going to be no one in the stands. People are going to walk away. Now, they'll still love the game. They'll still go watch college and minor league baseball and wood bat leagues in the summer. But major league stadiums, they're going to start being empty. And your sponsors are going to see that. And your sponsors are going to start pulling out. And then that billion dollar industry is going to drop. And it's going to be hurt. And then you're going to have player relations that are going to be, be tough because you don't want to pay players as much. And you're going to have a bad situation all around. So guys, like I said, I, I don't, I don't even know what to think at this point. 
Major League Baseball is just digging their hole bigger and bigger. And baseball fans are the ones who are going to suffer. Minor league teams are the ones who are going to suffer. People who have poured their heart and soul into being a fan of their team and the sport are the ones who are going to suffer. So those are my thoughts, guys. Let me know if you agree or disagree down below. Once again, I'm a strong believer that minor league baseball needs to be, those players need to be paid better. And yes, those facilities may not be the best, but they can be improved. It's not hard to improve facilities, to put in a weight room, things like that. It's, it's not that hard. It can be done. They don't need big fancy jumbotrons at, at every game. They don't need big fancy scoreboards and all that stuff. A good field, a good clubhouse, good weight room. You know, that's, that's minor league baseball. That's what it is. So, guys, this is Josh, the 90 Know-It-All. And I, I know it was a little bit of a rant. I hope you guys uh, can bear along with that and not be uh, too frustrated. But, once again, let me know, guys, in the comments below if you guys agree, disagree, and what your thoughts are on Major League Baseball. Have a good day.